afternoon, hockey fans. I'm Chris Durrell. I'm here for RotorPros.com to bring you my Jager Bombs DFS NHL Shots of the Night. We've got a small three-game slate tonight. Uh, before we jump into it, I just want to let you know if you are not a RotorPros member, you can head over to RotorPros.com, hit the sign-up button in the top right-hand corner, and right now we've got a 30-day free trial going on. You can come in and check out everything that we have to offer. Uh, we've got VIP articles. Um, we've got access to our community chat. Uh, it's a Slack chat. Um, where we go through, we talk in our members chat, we provide uh, skeleton lineups, just looking at our core, um, we have hockey talk, we have PGA talk, we have pretty much all the sports that we cover, which includes NFL, NHL, NBA, Premier League, Champions League, MLB coming up soon, NASCAR season starting in a couple weeks here at the Daytona 500, we cover all the sports, uh, looking to help you guys out, so make sure to get over, get your 30 day free trial, pretty sure you're going to stick around for the long haul with us. With that, let's jump into tonight's slate. Uh, we're going to be using, uh, going off of my DFS NHL cheat sheet that I provide daily. So like I said, we've got three games tonight. We've got uh, the first game, we've got the Philadelphia Flyers going into Boston to play the Bruins. We've got the New York Rangers going into New Jersey to play the Devils. And we've got the Columbus Blue Jackets going into Winnipeg to play the Jets. The Jets and the Flyers are, uh, no teams are playing on back-to-back -back tonight, but the Jets and the Flyers are playing a third game in four nights. So keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here, kind of going to go a little bit game by game, get away from uh, core play, uh, just you know a core a couple plays uh, that you're used to for each position. Just want to kind of look at each individual game. So we've got the Philadelphia Flyers at Boston Bruins. Boston's a big favorite here, minus 210. The big news in this game is that Tuka Rask is expected to, um, he was on the IR there, he is expected back tonight. Um, so if you want to go with a goalie, uh, Rask is definitely the top goalie on this slate. Philadelphia has been a little bit better as of late. Um, they've won five straight, so Rask maybe isn't necessarily going to be my top pick, but I think you can definitely go with him. Flyers have been qu you know, quite a bit worse on the road, 22nd overall on offense there, as you can see. And Boston's defense is top five in the league. So kind of avoiding the Flyers for the most part. What I am going to be looking for going to go right over to the center position if you want some value tonight i definitely like david krejci um the flyers road defense is not very good they allow a lot of goals uh, i believe they're ranked i'll uh, go back to the matchups here as you can see they're 24th on road defense so i'm really looking at the bruins tonight uh, as my core out of this game i like david krejci at that 5 5300 range on fan duel um he doesn't give you much shot volume but he does give you that savings to allow you to play some of the other players i'm going to talk about here david pasternak would be my core play from this game he has uh 11.9 shots per 60 21.5 corsi 4 per 60 um so he's got a lot of shot volume gives you a high floor as well as a ton of upside as well he's got 28 power play points on the season 59 total points in 50 games that Bruins top line is definitely what I'm looking for. And then going down a bit, um, I'm also liking uh, Jake DeBrusque. Um, he skates on the second line with David Krejci. So that kind of gives you some correlation here. It gives you a second line correlation with DeBrusque. 4,100 on DK, 4,800 on DraftKings. He's got a little bit of an above average Corsi 4. 15.9, uh, 9.2 shots per 60 there. So he does give you a nice floor for the price. He, like I said, he skates on the second line with David Krejci, but he jumps up and has been playing on the top power play line with Pasternak, Marshawn, and Bergeron. Um, so definitely like him for that price as well tonight. So we've got the key core play. We've got two value plays from the Bruins. Let's move on to the next game. We've got the New York Rangers at New Jersey Devils. Um, I definitely side in with the Devils here. They have been much better defensively on home ice versus the road. Anytime you see the Devils that are on the road are going to be targeting the offense that is at home. That is not the case tonight. The Rangers are in a little bit of a rebuild here, so definitely looking at the at the Devils. For goaltending, I'm definitely going to be looking at uh, Keith Kincaid as a GPP play. He's very cheap on both sites, as you can see here. Um, forgot to highlight him here, so we got him in blue. Like him as a GPP play. Uh, using him allows you to go and, um, you know, if you want to stack some of these top stacks that I'm going to talk about, Kincaid definitely gets you there. Um, we've got Rask. I haven't updated this yet, but I'm going to put him in blue as well. It doesn't look like Halak's going to be starting. It looks like Rask's going to be back. So, yeah, I like Keith Kincaid there. Um, other than that, I like going to the top line, Kyle Palmieri. The points haven't really been there lately as 
you know, with Taylor Hall's been down, he usually skates on his line. So Palmieri hasn't been, I guess you'd say, you know, the best lately. He's only got, I believe, five points, four points in his last ten games. But he does have 36 shots, 10.9 shots per 60. So he provides you a high floor. His price has come down below in that uh, mid to mid to high 6K range. So definitely looking at Palmieri. Um, one of my other core plays in this game is going to be going to the second line and uh, rolling with Miles Wood. He's only he's under 4K on both sites, which I absolutely love that price tonight on a small slate. Him with a combination of a cheap goalie gets you whatever stack you pretty much want tonight. As you can see, he provides a high floor with a 10.9 shots per 60, 17.7, Corsi 4 per 60. He's got 8 points in his last 10 games and 26 shots on goal. Two of those points have come on the power play. He's, he's only skating around 15 minutes per game. I expect that's going to continue to, you know, probably trend up if he keeps playing this well. And then on defense, um, I definitely like Andy Green as one of my core plays, especially over on FanDuel at 3,800. He's been, you know, he's been providing a strong floor for us lately at that price. Tag. Getting, getting a little up there on DraftKings, but over his last 10 games, he's only got three points, but he's got 13 shots and 30 blocks. So, um, that's really what we like to see averaging about 4.6 shots and blocks combined for a defenseman over the last 10 games, which has given him a nice floor um, on DraftKings right around that uh, 2 two to 2.5 point range and on FanDuel kind of getting around that 8 to 10 um, floor, uh, which we like to see from our defensemen, especially at 3,800 like I talked about. For the Rangers, I'm not really looking towards the Rangers tonight. Uh, one guy, I guess, if you want to go with the Rangers that you can look at at the center position, I do like Mika Zibanejad. Um, he's up there just below a point per game on the season. Gets you some power play point potential. He's about average when it comes to floor, but over his last 10 games, he's got 10 points with 31 shots on goal, and he's skating over 20 minutes per game. So the opportunity is definitely there um, if you want to go with Zibanejad. A little bit cheaper than uh, Bergeron and Shifley on this slate. Um, if you want to, you know, pair him with Krejci or something like that to roll out as your two centers tonight, I'm fine with that. And then going into the final game here, we got Columbus Blue Jackets at Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg is playing a third and four, but I do side with Winnipeg tonight. They're a 138 favorite. Columbus has struggled lately, uh, lost three straight games, so they're kind of slipping down, holding on to that final wild card spot while Winnipeg leads the Central Division over there in the Western Conference. Um, both both sides are top ten offenses, which I like. But Winnipeg owns a top 10 defense as well, especially at home. They're top 10 there as well, and they are third best offense at home as well. So definitely like the Jets when they're at home. Six and a half total here, so I can expect some. I do expect some goals. I like Hellebuck, um, especially on DK at 8,000. Comes a little bit cheaper. He's the second most expensive over there on FanDuel, so I'm probably going to be leaning somewhere else with that six and a half total tonight. But I do like Hellebuck. Um, he does come in. You know, a little. I wouldn't say red hot because he has allowed some goals, but he's he's given up 39 th or he's faced 39, 39, 38, and 31 shots over his last four games. He's won three of those last four, so there is some ceiling there if you want to go that way. If you think Columbus is he's going to maybe hold Columbus to one or two sh one or two goals tonight, going to give up. Uh, you know, going to face 30 to 35 shots. I think he makes a nice upside GPP play, and he's a little bit more expensive, like I said. So. You know, you're, you're not going to uh, see him, you know, heavily owned tonight with Kincaid facing facing the Rangers and uh, Rask as a minus 200 favorite there. So definitely some goalie options tonight, even though there is three games. And then I do like Mark Shifley as a GPP play. I haven't highlighted him here. I like that whole first line as you're going to see in my stacks coming up. He doesn't provide a high floor at all, but he's got 61 points in 50 games, kind of having a career year there. What I am looking towards in this Winnipeg game is Kyle Connor. He's the cheapest of that top line. He's been skating with Shifley and Wheeler lately. And he's only right in that 6K range on both sides. I've talked about him before. Um, right around average Corsi 4 and average shots per game. He has been hot lately. He's got 12 points in his last 10 games with 28 shots. And he is also skating over 20 minutes per game. So a ton of opportunity there. He's a solid core play for me tonight at the wing position. And then I will also, you know, if you got the money to spend up, Blake Wheeler makes a ton of sense too. He's also got 12 points in his last 10 games. And he's also got the shot volume there as well with 36 shots on goal in those games with three points on the power play. A shorthand a point in there as well. And he's averaging almost 22 points per game. 
So Wheeler and Connor, uh, definitely core plays. I like them for cash. Shifley I'll add in for the GPP stack. And then, uh, yeah, just looking at some other guys on defense uh, for Winnipeg, I like Truba and Morrissey at their, you know, right around that mid 4K to 5K price tag on both sites. They both get shot blocks. They're both getting a ton of ice time. And they've both shown upside this season with 24 and 27 points apiece. Averaging, uh, as you can see here, 22.6 and 23 uh, minutes of ice time per game. So that's kind of my core plays for tonight, looking at those three games. Um, my top stacks, I'm looking at Boston's power play. I like Bergeron and Pasternak with DeBrusque. If you've got the room and the salary, you can throw in Brad Marchand and Tori Krug as well. That completes the, the whole top power play unit. Winnipeg 1, which I talked about with Wheeler, Connor, and Chifley. And then uh, Philadelphia 2, if you want to go contrarian tonight in GPP, which that's kind of the way you got to go with some of these small slates if you want to win the big bucks. Um, Boston's the big favorite there. They're going to be heavily owned. Same with uh, Winnipeg is going to be owned here. I think New Jersey is going to have some ownership as well. The Flyers are going to be a contrarian way to go. And if you want to go a little bit more contrarian, I'm going to be going with the second line, which is Couturier, Voracek, and Lindblom. Um, Lindblom gives you that uh, salary relief to get Katuri and Voracek in there. Both have been pretty good lately. Katuri has been great lately. He's only in that mid 6K range. I definitely like going that route. So those are my top stacks, my core plays for each game. Um, be you know, like I said, if you, if you're a Roto Pros member, be sure to jump into the chat if you've got any questions tonight, um, either in the main members chat or the hockey talk chat. And skeleton lines will be posted at about an hour before game time. And then if you have any questions about how to fill in the rest of those lines, definitely hit me up in that chat. And also, if you've got questions, head over to uh, twitter.com, and I am at Jaeger underscore bombs9. And if you're ever looking for any of my cheat sheets, I do cheat sheets for NHL, NBA, MLB, NFL, PGA, NASCAR, pretty much any sport out there that has stats I can put into a spreadsheet. You can find that daily. I uh, pin those tweet, uh, tweet it out, and then I pin it to my profile page here at Jaeger underscore bombs9. Really appreciate you watching the video. Um, let's go make some lineups. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. It really helps out a lot. And let's go make some lineups and see some green screens tonight. Thanks a lot, everyone. Good luck.